In the fall, I don't do a ton of fall containers with blooming. I usually say, oh, I'm just going to do pumpkins and gourds, and I've done videos on that to show you, because you don't have to care for them or water them or do anything. But if you have a high impact area, which is the front of this front porch over at my mom's, or the main farm as I call it, I like to sometimes just do a little bit higher impact of some things that are blooming. You go into the garden centers this time of year and they get in beautiful fall annuals. How can you say no? So I got kind of a mixture here. I'm gonna put it together just to hopefully give you some inspiration and ideas of something quick you can do. And honestly, it's pretty inexpensive. All these small ones were $2.99 a piece. Hello. This large one is the most expensive at $7.99. So when you're doing fall annuals, you have to realize that the growing time on them, especially my climate zone five here, isn't going to be near as long so i can make it a container a lot fuller because it's not going to have a lot of growing time and doesn't need near as much room so i'm starting with this red celosia in the back celosia is a huge fall crop because it has the beautiful color in the fall look at these beautiful yellow ones they are just so pretty so i'm mixing the red and the yellow and I'm just gonna put the yellow kind of on either side. I always start with my tallest item first, especially here where no one's gonna be walking in the back. So it doesn't really matter what the back is like. So I'm thinking of that as the tall piece and then I'm working my way to the front. So I'm gonna put a yellow celosia on each side of it, which just kind of sets it off, especially in the, I'm not usually, he okay, you guys know this. If you watch me, if you see what I plant, I'm not usually, usually what? huge on color but in the fall that pop of color when everything else is going dormant and just kind of fading away this is going to look better so to keep building on that i'm doing a beautiful i love when you get these in the fall a flowering cabbage these are totally ornamental you don't want to eat them they're just more for fall but what you do have to think about is if you guys grow cabbage in the summer or in the spring in your gardens and you think oh those worms they will go on the ornamental as well. So you need to watch for worms. Look at, look at that instant color. I do. Sometimes I'm just surprised how in the fall. This is really fun because this is mustard. It's mustard greens. And so not only is it ornamental, you can also eat this. So it's kind of fun if you want to mix in edibles to actually do that because you can come out and grab a couple leaves or in about a month when things may need to come out, you never know when the first frost is going to be. You can come out and grab them and just eat all the greens then inside. And see how I'm making it much fuller than I would in the spring? In the spring, you have to think about a whole season of growth. Well, in the fall, you don't have to think about that. You're not going to have a whole season of growth. So in front, just for a little bit extra color, I got these miniature mums. I mean, guys, look how adorable they are. I mean, they just... They kind of, I'm doing some repeating colors here, just stacking the colors like that. It reminds you of what the colors is and then it gives you that eye pop in front. So it kind of breaks up the monotony of just the purple and the greens that I was doing here in front. So it's kind of fun. So see how full instantly it's like it's been growing for a couple months. To finish it off, if you want to, you can totally add in a few gourds. I think sometimes, especially depending if it's somewhere people are gonna walk, it's kind of a fun way to add in just a little bit of color. Also kind of fill in some of those gaps. Maybe, you know, you're gonna have kind of a gap there and it kind of fills it all in. So since these are annuals, since they're already blooming, I would totally fertilize them at least every other week. I wouldn't even feel bad fertilizing them every week just to keep them looking gorgeous and vibrant. You of course need to water them if you're not getting rains, but it's a quick way to do a fun arrangement, add great pops of color and have a high impact. So whether it's gourds or pumpkins, Fill your containers, have some fall goodness, and enjoy it. Share this video around. Let everyone know how easy gardening is, you guys. This is easy, you can do it. Enjoy, because in the fall, and this year, we all need something good. Okay, I'm gonna do another pot, just to match it. I need symmetry.